Hi, uh, this is Dr. JMR, uh, JMR Chemistry. Uh, I uploaded nearly uh, 300 uh, videos uh, on various topics. Uh, please watch my uh, videos and uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that is JMR Chemistry. Today I am going to explain some important questions. Uh, these questions are uh, very important in a competitive type of examinations. It is uh, like a somewhat twisted type of uh, questions. So, first question uh, that is which among the following atom contains the maximum number of neutrons? So, here he is asking maximum number of neutrons present in this, uh, what you call uh, nitrogen or you take uh, oxygen or uh, boron and beryllium. First, uh, suppose you take nitrogen, nitrogen atomic number is 7, then uh, mass number is uh, 14. Then here, how you will get a number of neutrons? Here, 14, that is mass number minus atomic number, then here you will get a number of neutrons. Here, nitrogen contains uh, 7 neutrons. Similarly, oxygen atomic number is 8, then uh, mass number is 16, then 16 minus 8 uh, is equal to 8 neutrons because mass minus atomic number. Then you take boron atomic number is 5. Then mass number is 9. Then uh, here, uh, oh, it is 11. Let it is not beryllium. So it is uh, boron. Boron means then you take 11. 11 minus 5, then here you will get uh, 6 neutrons. Then if you will take beryllium, atomic number is 4, mass number is 9. Then 9 minus uh, 4 is equal to 5 neutrons. So he is asking maximum number of neutrons. So based on this, nitrogen contains 7, oxygen contains 8. Then boron contains 6. Then uh, beryllium contains 5. Maximum means answer is what? Uh, oxygen is the right answer. So generally we will go for what? Uh, uh, B is the right answer or oxygen. The next question, how many subatomic particles are present in the nucleus? You know, atom contains three subatomic particles. They are electrons protons and the neutrons so here nucleus means it contains one center atom contains one center that we can call it as a, what a nucleus this nucleus contains neutrons as well as protons so he is asking how many subatomic particles two subatomic particles what are they means they are uh, neutrons and uh, protons. Okay. Next, he uh, is asking atom, molecular, symbol and ion. Atom means, you know, it is the smallest particle in the matter. According to John Dalton, it cannot further divide it. That is according to John Dalton. Then what about molecule means atoms are combined. Atoms are combined to form molecules. Then what is symbol? Shorthand representation. Suppose instead of writing carbon, generally we will write a C. That is carbon. This is symbolic representation of atom of an element is called symbol. Then what is ion? Charged particle, whether it is a positive or negative whatever it may be then we can call it as charged particles generally we can call it as what uh, ions okay so these are the definitions for atom molecule 
symbol and a ia next one next slide uh, that is true or false if false give the correct statement first one is the basic unit of an element is what generally the basic unit of an element is atom not a molecule next the electrons are positively charged no electrons are negatively charged atom is electrically neutral right because it contains protons as well as electrons so electrically they are neutral means the number of protons is equals to number of electrons then the nucleus is surrounded by protons no because nucleus is nucleus contains neutrons and protons here electrons are surrounded by this nucleus electrons are surrounded by the nucleus so maybe one statement is right remaining are wrong so uh, the correct statements are the basic unit of an element is atom electrons are positively charged then atom is electrically neutral and d1 is the nucleus is surrounded by what a protons no it is what a electrons just now i explain electrons next what is valency the combining capacity what is valency means the combining capacity of atom of an element is called valency explain with an example suppose you take hydrogen so atomic number is 1 combining capacity is 1 so valency is 1 so generally it forms only one bond simple example wherever hydrogen is there naturally it forms only one bond so because it contains only one electron in the valency shell best example or you take calcium calcium forms it contains two electrons it is ready to donate two electrons or uh, he convert into stable electronic configuration valency is what we have to say that is two next fill in the blanks the symbol of iron generally we can call it ferrum then fe uh, what do you call this a latin name of uh, iron is ferrum so we can call it as fe cobalt so capital c then small o you have to write because if you write capital c capital o this is wrong carbon monoxide but uh, you have to write uh, like this properly capital c then uh, small o so this is about uh, what do you call symbol of carbon monoxide as well as iron so here please like share uh, subscribe to my channel so i am dr jmr jmr chemistry i uploaded nearly uh, 300 videos please watch my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you